In this particular lecture, let's work on styling this search bar which we have, which is the search component. So in order to style the search component, we actually have to create a CSS module for the search component. So let's go to the components folder, right click on it, create a new file called as search.module.css. And in this file, we will be creating a couple of CSS classes and apply this to the input field which we have inside the search component. So if you take a look at the search component, right now we have one div and one input field. So let's go ahead and let's create some CSS classes for the div as well as this input which we have. So let's say we want to call this div as a search container because it kind of acts like a container. Therefore, I'll go ahead, go to search.module.css and create a class called as search container. And now let's apply this class to this div which we have. So I'll go ahead and import styles. So I would say import styles from dot slash search.module.css. And over here for this div, I would simply say the class of this is going to be nothing but styles dot search container. All right. So let's go ahead and let's add some code over here. All right. So in the search container, let's go ahead and let's add some margin. So here I would say I want the margin to be 20 pixels for the top and bottom. And then I want the margin to be auto from the sides. And also let's say I want the width of this thing to be 300 pixels. And let's go ahead and let's set the position of this thing to relative. So this is what the container looks like. So we have set the position to relative and the margin on the left and right to auto so that this container should be placed at the center. So now the container is styled up, but now let's also go ahead and let's style up this input field as well. So let's say we want to remove the border from all the sides and we only want to have the border at the very bottom. So over here, I could go ahead and create a class for that particular input as well. So right now this input does not have any kind of styling class. So let's say the class name is going to be styles.input. So let's define this input class inside search.module.css. So here I would say the input on this thing needs to be freed of all the borders. So I would say the border is going to be none. As soon as I do that, the border for this one is going to be removed. But I still want to say that, all right, I want to have some border at the bottom. So over here I could say the border bottom should be one pixel solid and it should have a color which should be hash E3 E4 DC. So this is kind of like a grayish color which appears something like this and now we have the input field styled as well. Now let's add some padding over here to this input as well. So let's say the padding is going to be 10 pixels from the top and bottom and 20 pixels on the sides. After this, I would set the width of this thing to 100% to span the entire search container which we have. So as you can see, this is what the input field looks like. Now there are a couple of properties which we still need to add here. So for once, if I click on this particular input field, as you can see the borders or the outline still appears. So uh, when we don't hover on this, this is the border, but when we hover on this, what we get over here is the outline. So we want to say that I want to remove all the outlines on the input field. So therefore I would set the outline of this thing to none. As soon as I do that, now if I click on this, as you can see, there's absolutely no outline when I click on that particular input field. And that's exactly what we want. Now let's adjust the font of this thing as well. So let's make the font a little bit bigger. So in order to set the font, I would go ahead and say, I want to set the font size of this thing to let's say 16 pixels for now. You could also set that in EMS as well, but a uh, pixel count would be more accurate. So now the font has increased a little bit. Now let's also set the color of this as well. So let's set this to be of the same color. So let's set the color of the text over here to hash 393E46. So as you can see, the color of the font changes a little bit. And once we are done with this, we are pretty much good to go. And the input field or the search field has now been styled well. 
So once we have styled this search component, the next thing which we need to style is this particular component, which is the food item component. So let's style this food item component in the next lecture.